Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to take a look at the EverFocus. This is their indoor camera. It's part number E3D2412MPX. And you basically have three cameras in one and it only uses one coax cable. So it'll only take up one channel space on your DVR. So uh, let's crack this camera open and then we have it plugged in here in a minute. We'll go ahead and play with it and you know check out some of the features. Okay, so this camera, I also do want to mention, it only uses one power cable also, okay? Uh, inside of it, let's go ahead and get this open for you. Okay. So inside you have, as you can tell there are the three cameras, um, you have Two, uh, two of the cameras, they're all fixed lenses, but two of them are 2.4 millimeters and one of them is a 12 millimeter. So that'll give you a uh, kind of a, a far away field of view up closer. Okay, uh, it also has built in motion detection. It also has auto full screen, digital zoom, and virtual PTZ. The resolution is 560 TVL. So. As you can tell on the bottom, you got your screw holes right there to go ahead and mount it. But the once it's installed, you also can move the camera around very easily. Okay. And it also moves up here in case you need to tweak it a certain way a little bit. And that goes for all three of them, same exact thing. Uh, let's plug this in. Okay, so we're going to make our adjustments using the remote that's included with this camera. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but there is also an outdoor version of this uh, in case, you know, you're looking for something a little more durable and something that'll do the same thing, but, you know, just outdoor rated. So, um, let's get to it. Okay, so as you can tell, we have one camera here in the... Um, taking up most of the space. You also have camera two over here in the corner, camera three over here, and I got the camera just sitting on top of the uh, DVR. Let me go ahead and, so as you can tell, it looks uh, a bit better when there's more color instead of it pointing up at a fluorescent light, but I'm just kind of showing you guys the other angles here. And this is the first time I actually checked out this camera, and I'm kind of going through the manual, so we're both along this ride together checking this thing out. So, uh, One of the things I do want to mention, the remote that's included, uh, you have to press star star to activate it. If you don't use it for half an hour, it just locks itself off. So uh, maybe that's kind of a cure, cool little security feature. Um, to Now you can split these screens. Let's go ahead and try to do that. It looks like we're going to press uh, the mode button first and then we'll press the, let's try number one. There we go. So you could, as you can tell, there's multiple different angles, different views, different squares there for you to go ahead and set this up to your liking. Okay, and I believe this is where we started off at. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. You have, uh, looks like you got some full screens, some, uh, there's a few different ways to go ahead and split it up here. Um, there is also, which is pretty nice, there's also an auto screen sequence. So uh, it mentions to go ahead and let's see, press auto and the record button here. Let me see. There we go. So from one to two to three, and it gives you kind of an overall view right there and back to number one, number two number three all right so we go ahead and press the uh looks like the same exact button the auto record button that'll stop that um there is also a digital zoom so let's go ahead and try that here you press uh, the zoom search button and you can go ahead depending on the area that you want to zoom in on you want to go ahead and uh, select that and then go ahead and press the enter button and it'll blow it up closer to you. Let's go ahead and get out of there. Oops. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. I had to press the zoom button again to get out of that menu. Um, there's also a screen freeze. Uh, there is also a... Let's check out the menu here. So we'll press the menu button. Uh, I believe this is where you can go ahead and change the, yeah, the titles for your cameras. And the display. Uh, you can change the boundary, the colors. I don't know if you can tell, but from black to white. Looks like we got yellow, blue. And there's a pretty annoying one here, the blink. I don't see how anybody would like that, but hey, it's probably a it's probably a reason or an application for it. The color of the brightness, you can go ahead and adjust this from camera to camera. In case you have one area that's a little too bright, you can go ahead and dim that here uh, and the contrast. Uh, there's the, the mirror, there's the auto sequence, the channel switch, and there's the PIP. Okay. All right, cool. So we can move these squares around quite a bit if you want to. Maybe you want a one on the top, maybe one on the bottom, that sort of thing. Let's go ahead and get out of there. Um, so there's, you know, there's quite a bit here to this camera. You might want to uh, check the manual. You can go ahead and download it off our website. It's in the downloads tab. There should be a PDF in there for you to go ahead. And, uh, see what other features this camera can do for you, but uh, the bank for the buck, it's pretty cool. I mean, one power, one coax for three cameras, one location. Maybe you got a DVR that's maxed out with 15, maybe you want to try to squeeze in a couple more. This might be a pretty good uh, option for you. So if you have any questions or comments or want to check out the price, go to discountlowvoltage.com. Thanks. Later.